everybody, Chris Grandy, planwithchris.com, was asked today by a software engineer from Salesforce, uh, you know, what do you do? Do you just, and actually what he really asked me was he asked me what I did, but at the same time, he also asked me, um, you know, he basically said, well, don't you guys just, you know, isn't it true that, you know, 90% of, of, uh, investment managers can't beat the index. And so what's the point of even investing with them, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it's a great question. He, you know, he asked some nuanced questions, which I thought were excellent, but I'm just going to summarize that point. And what's interesting about our industry is, is that I said, you know what, it's true that um, your experience with financial advisors has probably been to run into one of two types of people, maybe one of three types. But the two types I mentioned to him were the advisor as portfolio manager and the asset gatherer. And so I explained, this is how I was explaining to him how we, you know, what, because he's asked me what I did, how what we do is different from that. So first I explained to him what most of the industry is comprised of. The asset gatherer is the person that has the cookie cutter portfolios that are given to them by their company. And then what they'll do is they'll come to you and do a, a questionnaire and then put you in one of those cookie cutter portfolios and just sit back and relax. That's the asset gatherer. They just gather assets and collect fees. The uh, other person is advisor as portfolio manager. That was me early on in my career um, where, not even early on, I mean, even like 10 years ago, I thought I was the hero. Um, and that was the person who, you know, the same person who, who does the client meeting and brings on the new clients, does the marketing, is the same person who uh, also makes the investment decisions and manages the portfolios, advisor as the portfolio manager. And interestingly, you know, managing money, serving clients, and marketing, these are like full-time jobs for most people, but somehow, you know, advisors, when they first start in the career and even for too long after that, think they can pull all that off. It's, it's quite a feat. So those are the two things he was most interested in. The third category might be the insurance agent, financial advisor. Uh, and again, the word financial advisor is not a legal term. A lot of people can call themselves that. But, you know, and, and they are financial advisors in some respect, but they might not be what you think they are. But that's what he's experienced. And I said, how we're different is, and this is very, very important. I feel working with a client that your finances need to be aligned with your personal values. By doing that, you will feel congruent about yourself and feel like you're making the right move. And once you've, you know, when you identify your values and you're very clear on what they are, and you have um, clear values, clear goals, then anytime you're gonna make a major financial decision, you can say, is this decision bringing me closer or farther away from those values and goals? And a good advisor, um, first and foremost, I think helps the client identify the values, their uh, deeply held values and most important goals and helps align their finances in that direction and keeps them accountable to that. So a good financial advisor gets people organized, offers great planning and advice, and most importantly, keeps them accountable to their goals and also their financial services providers accountable to the client. And so that's really what financial planning is. I think that's where the industry is going, where it should be. It's not just asset gathering, et cetera. So, I mean, obviously, you know, when you're doing financial planning, do you put portfolios together for a client? Yes, you know, we have money managers that we use for clients because I, I feel like I found money managers that do a better job than I did, you know, 10 years ago to give me portfolio ideas and to run portfolios. I focus on planning, advice, and keeping the client accountable and delivering our 10 deliverables and 125, 130 checklist um, um, points, getting those all done every year. That's, that is what we do. And he was, you know, he thought that was quite different because again, his impression is, and this is what you see in the industry is advisor is portfolio manager, asset gatherer or insurance agent. You know, you just don't see too many people who say, okay, we're going to look at the whole picture. We're going to align your finances and your money to your uh, most deeply held values and your most important goals. And then we're going to keep you accountable to that. We're going to put a plan together and keep you accountable to that plan and update everything year after year to make sure that you have, you know, the highest probability of, of achieving your goals. That's really what, the, you know, what you pay an advisor for. And particularly for us, like we like to we like to work with delegators. Those are people that also want us to handle all the day to day stuff and the minutiae because they're focused on doing what they do best. So, you know, successful people don't want to sit in on a Saturday morning and do this stuff. 
they have other things to do, or they make more money per hour doing their, their thing than they would doing their own financial planning, and they know to delegate. Um, and I'm a big fan of this. All through my life, as much as I think I'm a know-it-all, I have hired other people who know more about stuff to help me with that. I recently hired a, a personal coach to help me with um, certain personality behavior things, like you know weaknesses that I have. I've hired uh, strength trainers. All right, I've hired. Um, um, all, I've worked with you know nutritionists. I've hired all kinds of different coaches to help me with different things. And I've had I've had uh, I've hired a marketing coach when I thought I was going to go a certain way. I'm like I really don't know marketing. I've hired um, an internet coach and just just people to help me with stuff that I don't know. I didn't try to. I mean. I can do some stuff on my own, but there's also some value in working with professionals. So I'm a big believer in that. And I think that successful people, and this is what I told this engineer, successful people want somebody that'll help get, keep them organized because they're busy doing so many things in their own life. They want to um, give them, do good solid planning for them, give them great advice, and most importantly, keep them accountable to their goals and to keep their um, accountable, make sure their money is aligned with their most deeply held uh, values and most important goals. And that's what financial planning is to me. So questions gets asked a lot, thought I'd answer it. If you were curious, that's what I would say. If we were, if we met in person, like I met this fellow today. All right. Well, listen, thanks for listening. If you have any feedback, comments, leave them below. If you like the video, like it. And if you want to subscribe, feel free to do that. Have a great day. Thank you so much for coming by and, and listening to me. I appreciate it. And, uh, talk to you soon.